Hi guys! So this video is going to be a talk through. Thought I'll quickly just jump on here and just talk you through it instead of voiceover because with voiceover it just takes me forever to edit and I do want to get this video out because I am super busy with all your orders so if they are all your lovelies are coming out to you so let's just jump right into it and start so as you can see this is the envelope and we will start the unboxing here we go Doo -doo -doo -doo. This is May mystery kit that we are unboxing today. I'm just gonna move, slide this right here because I need all the space I could get. With May, as you can tell, it's very neutral and soft. And if you flip to the back, this is how it looks like. All the stuff in here are freebies. And to open this, you just open the top part, pull this out. And I'm just going to lay this out so you guys can see the freebies and the color scheme. So as you can tell, the colors are very soft and nude. Inspiration for this kit is about simplicity and being organic. With the freebies, you do get one full sheet of samplers here using the two kit colors. And you have an ombre heart checkboxes here for kit A and ombre heart checkboxes for kit B here and your dates. So these are the freebies. I'm just gonna leave them to the side here. And now getting into our kit. So to open it, I just pull this part down, flip it open, and there you go. So this part here tells you where my inspiration comes from and why I decided to use this theme for this month. And right here is the before you start, mostly for your monthly view kit. I strongly suggest you to read this month's May because there's a little bit changes when I was doing the design. I didn't want to compromise the design, so I decided to just change the step instead. Let's open this. It's a May mystery kit. We'll put the envelope aside. Are you guys ready? Ooh. Okay, so firstly, I just want to show you guys that this is only for the Happy Planner subscribers. If you do subscribe to my mystery kit for Happy Planner, you'll get a little page right here telling you the steps that are changed. Um, usually for step one, you'll start top here with your sidebars, but now because of the design, I don't want to compromise it. You now place your sidebar here and it's only for this month, May mystery kit. Only for this month, that's it. So this will be in there to explain how and you could see the diagram where to place it too. Okay, let's start with the monthly. So as you can see, it's super dark black. It's not really dark, like the flowers really pop and I love it in a darker background and I haven't done something like this before, like a black kit with photo um, of the flowers. But as you can see, I wanted my filigree here and that's where your sidebar was supposed to start, like right up here. But I didn't want to compromise the design, so I decided that you guys could just move one week down to use your sidebar. Here it is. It's the month of May. Now you guys could just get the month monthly stickers on its own. You don't have to purchase the mystery kits. And when you do just get the monthly on its own, you have an option to have it with the month or without, so you don't have to use it for the month of May. Also, with this design, I did not include any of the week dates. It's actually pretty known that, you know, this column is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, so on and so forth. Because I find that if I do add the week dates, it made the design too busy. So that's why I decided not to put the week dates. So here is uh, your top title bar, your, and this is the second one, and your days off. You have your functional icon stickers here, your no spending, your paydays, 
your bill dues right here and your holiday stickers here. This is your blank date box which goes to the bottom which I will show you after the video. Also I'll be zooming in all these art um, artwork. I'll be zooming in so you guys can see the stickers. So this is your goals sidebar, this is your reminder, and this is your heart check boxes. Now there's four of them as you can see here, one, two, three, four. For this month you only need two of them to build your sidebar and the rest you can use for your weekly spread if you do have a checklist that you do want to use. I believe there are seven hearts here so this could turn into like a weekly habit thing that you could just check off. Here we have the cakes, your flags, and lastly the sidebar stickers and your hello monthly stickers right here and your washi tape. Same thing with these washi tape. They fit your weekly headers too so you can use, oops, you can use them for your monthly view or for your weekly view. Let's put this aside. Now we're getting to the good stuff, the weekly kits. Ooh, gold. Okay, so here's a sneak peek for next week. Next week. <laughs> for next month's uh, June mystery kits. Okay, so this is kit A you see here. <gasps> And kit B. Kit B. As you could tell, the foiling, two different foil colors. I felt that kit A goes very well with the gold. It just brings up the warmth of the pink. And then here, you, it's a darker nude version of the pinks. And the foiling we used here is rose gold because I think rose gold really matches with the color scheme that we're using here. So you have your lighter and your darker, but I didn't want this to be too cold of a dark, so I warmed it up with a bit of the pink and cooled this one down with a little bit gray. That's just the designer, um, graphic designer me talking about colors. You guys don't need to know that. All you guys need to know is that it will look super pretty in your weekly spread. Okay, so let's go into kit A first. And let's pull them out. So the weekly kits, the two weekly kits, you could get them separately also. And it's available now under foiled, foiled stickers in our Etsy shop. And it's only in our Etsy shop. And you have an option of getting it with the ombre heart check boxes or without. So with just the kit or with the ombre heart check boxes. Anyway, so to do your weekly thread, this is kit A. You have your five full boxes here, your page flags, your appointment boxes, um, check heart box flags, your functionals, your todays, I don't know if you guys, uh, not todays, your to do's. I will zoom in a bit more just to show you later on the detailing. You have your uh, weekday banner header here, your weekend banner, and oh my god, I am so in love with this banner. Like, oh, and your bill dues, your other icon stickers, and circle stickers of things that you need to do. So, with your weekly, you could pair it with your sample sheets here, and also the Ombre Heart Jackbox. This is good enough for one week, it depends on how you, you plan, but Usually this is pretty much a lot for a one week spread. So this is kit A. Let's clean this up. And then kit B. I know you guys are dying because oh my goodness. Look, look how gorgeous. Oh, love it. Rose gold. That's enough of me playing with the foil. Okay, so let's spread this out so you guys could see. Oops, all upside down. So same format as your kit A. You have three sheet of sticker paper, plus you could add on your sampler sheets here, and also your ombre heart check boxes. And this itself will make a full week too. If you wanna do a no white space spread, you could actually combine two of the kits together 
to make one whole big one. That's how I design it. That's and when I do design it, I do keep that in mind that the colors have to work from for each other and it pulls off of each other too. Also, the dates. I usually use these dates on your weekly headers here, but it's up to you. You can use it in your monthly, but I like to use it on my weekly because my monthly is already dated and I don't need to use this for my monthly except for my weeklies. Yes. So I'm just going to zoom you guys in so you can see the detailing of the image of it. These are available. You can purchase them in our Etsy shop. You can purchase the monthly separately. Whoops. You can purchase the monthly separately and you can purchase the weekly separately, you know? And with the monthly, as I said before, you could have it with and without the month on it so you can use it whenever you guys like. So here you go, this is the whole mystery kit. I hope you will enjoy this talk through. I know it kind of sound rush, but I do have a lot to go to do and I am trying to push out all the orders that we have right now, especially for the new washi that you guys did order. They're coming to you. Trust me, I've hired a new girl, Jackie. She's helping me out. So we're both trying to push as much as we can out this week and next week and going on forward also i'll be attending go wild in two weeks two weeks if your eyes are not following me on instagram i've been posting sneak peeks and hints on what we are doing at our table and our table swag if you're interested just follow us and you will see all the little details and updates that you do need to know also ballerina ballerina Ballet, sorry, the Ballet Washi Collection will be restocked, however, I don't know which date. I think it will be within two weeks. Same thing, just follow us on Instagram and it will keep you updated when it will be restocked. But with that one, it's going to be two release times. However, after that restock, it's going to be final. Um, no more restock for that design because I do have a lot more lovely washies to show you guys and I can't wait to show you then. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Happy planning. Bye.